This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3 Animation and Games, Level 20, the Game Design Process, Part 13. So we should have, yep, we have the start of our little game already here. If you don't have this, you need to go back and do the other sections of this uh, lesson. If you're confused on it, check out my other tutorials. All right. Moving up and down. You'll want your player sprite to move up and down as well. Do this. For this level, you'll still be writing code inside the move player function. Okay, and remember, a function is just a chunk of code that you that you put together so it can be used anywhere. So our move player function, I think, is right here. And when the computer hits this, it doesn't run it right away. It waits for us to ask it to run it. What it does the run is the draw function. That's automatic. And so in the draw function, we ask it to run move player as well as a bunch of other functions. And that's when the code inside gets run. Remember, draw runs 30 times a second too. So use an if block along with key down to detect up is pressed. Use sprite y to make the player go up three using the counter pattern. Use if and down to move the player down. Test your code, your character should move in all four. Okay, so also remember for y, if we do the grid, zero, zero is up here. Zero y is way up here. 400 y is here. So if I add to y, I'm moving down. So that's what we wanna do for the down arrow key. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, since we have the code from the last level, I'm clicking show text. I'm gonna go to our player, move player function. And I'm just going to highlight all for the right and left. I'm going to right click. If you're on a Chromebook or a laptop to do that, you should separate your two fingers, push down at the same time, and then I'm going to click copy. And now I'm just going to paste it. And now we got to be careful though. Oop, I'm going to kind of fix my formatting because we have to change a bunch of stuff. So I'm going to change up and I don't want this to be X. I want player dot Y, right? Because this is the Y property of my player like a variable it's telling the computer what y location we should be on and for y to go up like i was just saying we need it to be negative and then down for key down we want and now we got to change the player's y again and we want this to be y for the player to go down we need this to be positive hopefully Let's see. Let's see the box. That looks good to me. So what happens is our code runs, it gets to the draw function. All these other functions it, it sees, but it doesn't run the code yet. It does run draw and it says, okay, game background. All right, there's the game background function, runs the code inside, hits the bottom, goes back here. Okay, what's next? Enemy touch cake. Goes to that, runs that function, checks these if conditions, hits the bottom, keeps going, play or move. And now on player move, it's going to check is the right key, is the left key, is the up, is down. And it, if any of these are true, it runs the code inside. And so let's say that up is true. The computer returns true because we are currently holding up. Then it drops in here and says player.y property. So the player's y position, player.y, subtract 3 from that. Okay, subtract 3. So maybe the player was at 200. Now I'm at 197, and it returns it and makes player.y equal 197. Then let's say it goes back around the draw loop, gets back to this, and then it hits this again, and we're holding, we hit up again. 197 minus 3, okay. 197 minus 3 is 194. So player.y equals 194. And it does that for all of these. Let's test out our code. Up, I'm hitting down, I'm hitting left, I'm hitting right. We have success. So that's what worked for me. Let's uh, keep going.